Hi there. In this video we are looking at a life science process called the nitrogen cycle and I'm going to walk you through this diagram so that you can understand what the nitrogen cycle is all about. Excuse me. To do this particular lesson you're going to need this page, this uh, piece that you see, and also this one. So you need to cut both of those out and then when you get, you can pause the video if you need to, cut those out and then when you're ready go ahead and click play and we'll look at this process. You need to glue down the uh, page on page 63. I can't remember guys if I gave you this piece or if it needs to be glued down. If it does need to be glued down, go ahead and stick it down. If I've already printed it on there, you don't have to glue anything at this point. I know that this piece of writing is incredibly complicated. We're going to go through this and talk about what it means. But before I do that, I want to glue this piece on top. So go ahead and line up this piece on top of the other one so that this is what we're looking at. Okay. You only want to glue this flap. The glue will go on the back of this piece so that most of this is a big door that you can open. So glue on the back of that piece and stick that little tab down on top of the other one and then you have a nice door that lifts up. I want to look at this diagram first and then we will look at the very complicated stuff underneath it. So this is a diagram of the nitrogen cycle and I want to just walk you through it and then we're going to write a summary paragraph down there. Once we figure out what this is all about, we're going to put a paragraph together to explain that. This is really one that I wish we were doing in a live class so that you could ask questions if you have them. But we need to follow the arrows here and what we're talking about is the way that nitrogen, which is a type of gas, moves through the environment. Not just the atmosphere, but the environment as a whole. So we have to pick up this process somewhere and I'm going to do that with this part right here. So let's, one thing I want to call your attention to will be those arrows. You need to follow the direction of the arrows. That's very important. It's leading us through this sequence of the nitrogen cycle. If you've had the reading course, we did sequence with a timeline where the timeline folded out. We put the pieces together. It's a similar concept. It's a similar skill. It's just that in this one, we have a diagram. Uh, if you remember the diagram I showed you in that class we did on the sequence was the fracking diagram. So this is a similar kind of thing. So what we're looking at here is the first step is called lightning fixation. And if you look at what's happening in this picture, lightning is striking the earth. That is putting nitrogen, nitrogen is flowing with this blue arrow. So nitrogen comes into the soil, into the ground by lightning fixation. That's one way. So let's go ahead and label this one. Just so when I write my paragraph, I can follow this order. Okay, another way that nitrogen enters the ground, again watch the flow of the arrow, is animal waste and that happens in two forms. There's waste while the animal is living, animal poop is waste, 
And then when the animal dies and decomposes, that becomes another source. So the animal itself is step two. I'm just labeling my steps as I go. So we'll talk about that in our paragraph. So then I see that waste and dead flesh, dead animal matter, go through this process called decomposition. That's going to be step three. Products of decomposition, first of all, are ammonia, which breaks down into nitrites, which further breaks down into nitrates. And all of this is happening in the soil, in the grounds. And then we have an uptake. The arrow starts to turn. So we have lots of things happening at once here. I'm just going to pick them in random order. It doesn't matter. Those nitrates are picked up through plant roots. So that's step seven. Denitrification, so nitrogen is removed from the soil as this process continues. Um, plant consumption, this is another way that nitrogen is being pulled, pulled from the soil. So all of these right here are the reverse process. This is where nitrogen is leaving the soil and moving back into the atmosphere. And that is the process of the nitrogen cycle, how nitrogen moves through the environment. So let's put this in a paragraph. Let's summarize this passage into something that makes sense. So starting with step one, and you don't have to word it exactly like mine. I'm just showing you what I would do. I'm going to say that nitrogen, and we talked about acronyms in the uh, English class, but I'm going to go ahead and put the chemical symbol of nitrogen there. Nitrogen, which is N2. That means that two atoms of nitrogen are bonded together. So nitrogen in the form N2 enters soil in three ways. And I have to base this on their diagram, not what I may have heard at some point in my life. So what are those three ways? Let's put um, a period there and start a new sentence. Lightning strikes fix nitrogen and I'm going to use N2 in the soil. That's one way. I'm going to put comma and animals contribute nitrogen through body waste and death. So we have identified the three ways. Lightning strikes, animals through body waste and death. And that brings us up to that step three. Nitrogen in the soil, you don't want to start a sentence with an abbreviation, spell it out. Nitrogen in the soil decomposes
into ammonia, nitrites, and then nitrates. You want them in that order because the diagram clearly shows them in that order. Nitrogen re-enters the atmosphere through plant roots, that's the plant uptake, evaporation, and animals possessive consumption of plants. So we have summarized the diagram. I'm going to add one more sentence. Then, comma, the process starts again. That's the cycle. It happens over and over and over. And that is one reason that we can survive on planet Earth, because of this cycle of nitrogen. Always reread your paragraph. Make sure that you haven't left out any words. So here's what we have. Nitrogen, N2, enters soil in three ways. Lightning strikes fix nitrogen 2 in the soil and animals contribute nitrogen to through body waste and death. Nitrogen in the soil decomposes into ammonia, nitrites, and then nitrates. I need a comma there after then. Nitrogen re-enters the atmosphere through plant roots, evaporation, and animals consumption of plants. Then the process starts again. So we have just written a summary of a diagram. And this takes a lot of practice, or it did for me. It's not something that you can just sit down and do without practicing and, and getting some experience at doing it. So let's look at the scientific explanation, at that really tough thing to understand. And here's my diagram. I'm going to pull up this thing. Now this is giving me three different ways that nitrogen is that it moves through the soil, it fixes in the soil. There are atmospheric elements, there are industrial elements, and there are biological elements. So this is explaining what we looked at in much more detail. This is just a lot of science information. You don't need to memorize this. I think if you can look at that diagram and read that okay, you should be fine on the test. But I do want to look at this because it's high set level. Okay. So the first thing under atmospheric fixation. So this is dealing with the air. Energy from lightning breaks into molecules apart. So let me just show you what an N2 molecule looks like. And I'm going to do that down here at the bottom of this page. You can put this wherever you want it. You could even put it on the back of your diagram or at the bottom of your workbook page. That's fine. But to make a molecule of N2, you take an atom of, ox of nitrogen. 
So we're going to call that one atom of nitrogen. And you take another atom of nitrogen, so it's going to be identical to that one. And to get the molecule, you have to hook them together. So this is one molecule of N2. So this is saying that lightning breaks those molecules apart. Lightning breaks that bond right there. Then those nitrogen atoms combine with oxygen, forming nitrogen oxides. So here's what um, an, a molecule of nitrogen oxide would look like. I'm going to try to copy this. I'm not sure that it's going to work. So this one would be two nitrogens. That's N2O. We need to add on an atom of oxygen. So we're doing some basic chemistry here. This would be one atom of oxygen. And that would be N2O. Here's just plain old N2. And here is N2 plus an O. So this is nitrogen oxide. Then nitrous oxide dissolves in rain, forming nitrates, which is NO3. So to build an, a molecule of NO3, let's think about this. Look at your chemical formula. You have one N and three O's. So you have an N and then three identical O's and you make a molecule. You bond those together. So you have an N with three O's. So what this is telling me is that as these molecules move through the atmosphere, they're changing. They're taking shape as different elements different, not elements, different compounds. The only one of these that's the element is this one because it's pure. But you see how as they move through the atmosphere and through the ground, they take on different forms. They combine with oxygen and other things. Nitrates, that's this one, are carried to the ground by rain. Again, you don't have to memorize this. I'm just showing you how these symbols relate to molecules. So another way that nitrogen um, is involved in the environment is through industrial fixation. So let's see what that's about. Under certain conditions, industrial plants combine nitrogen and hydrogen to form ammonia. And the chemical symbol for ammonia is NH3. So let's see if we can build a molecule of NH3. So that is one nitrogen and three hydrogens. Those should all be identical. I just can't draw them exactly the same. Three hydrogens, one nitrogen, and we need to bond those. So that makes the molecule. This is the structure of ammonia, where you have one, oops, let's keep it the same, one nitrogen. Hydrogen is one we haven't drawn yet, so it might get a different color. That is a molecule of ammonia. Okay. This one is pure nitrogen. This one is nitrous oxide. And then that one is a nitrate. 
another way that nitrogen is involved in the atmosphere and the ground is through biological processes. So let's see what this one is about. Free living bacteria. Highly specialized bacteria live in soil and combine N2 with H2. So we know what N2 looks like. H2 would look something like this where we have two hydrogens, and that's pure hydrogen, bonded together. So that's H2, which you probably recognize as part of the water formula. H2O, so if you add an oxygen, you have water. Bacteria fixes 30% of available nitrogen. So bacteria is very important in this process. If we eliminated that bacteria, the, the cycle would be very much affected. It produces ammonium, or NH4. This is where most nitrogen fixing is completed. There is a symbiotic relationship with bacteria. That means that symbiotic means that two things live together and help each other. So in this case, bacteria live in root nodules of pulse family plants. That's way beyond what we need to know. Provides the plant with ammonia in exchange for the plant's carbohydrates and a protected home. So there's the trade-off. The plant gets ammonia and gives the bacteria carbohydrates and a safe place to live. That's what symbiotic means, is that one organism helps the other and that together they can survive. Legumes, those are plants like pea plants, bean plants, fix 70% of available nitrogen. So if you're trying to enrich your soil with nitrogen, it's a good idea to plant those types of plants and that helps to enrich the soil. So these are different ways that nitrogen enters the soil. You can have um, atmospheric reasons, industrial reasons, and then just life processes that cause that fixation. So hopefully you have enough background on the nitrogen cycle and what's happening here that if you see this on the test, um, I think that you will have a good background to answer those questions. In the next video, we're going to look at another life process, which is the carbon cycle. So if you want to go ahead and cut that out before your next video, that would be fine. I will be using those pieces in the next segment. Have a very good day.